Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about NFL Draft Bust Analytics, uh, specifically highlighting players that were drafted in fairly high spots of the draft who didn't live up to expectations. Uh, to one, give you some idea as to how analytics can kind of give you some red flags to not make the same mistakes that evaluators made in the past, but two, to give you just a general view and overview about what data, what analytics matters to the position uh, so that uh, you, you just have a better idea of you know the things you should be looking for when it comes to stuff on paper when it comes to NFL draft prospects. Uh, so this video we're going to be talking about Erasmus James. Erasmus James of course is the Wisconsin edge rusher uh, that the Minnesota Vikings drafted uh, in the first round uh, of uh, that particular year. and. He's someone who definitely highlights the issue of the three cone and not only that but production data in general um, So we're basically going to profile him based on his production data his athleticism data and uh, Give you some insights as to why he didn't live up to the expectations of being a first-round player uh, in many ways um, So for all that stuff out of the way if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do all terms and definitions will be in the description So now let's get to his profile. So first off the first major question mark with Rasmus James somewhat was his production data. Um, had a 74.63 solo tackle score, 62.34 um, sack score, and 61.36 tackle for loss score. Um, definitely not terrible production. You know, pretty much hits at least above the the, uh, the the Pro Bowl thresholds, if you will, in terms of his overall data. But he's not exactly outstanding. You know, he didn't really hit the All Pro career average. He's also not near the Pro Bowl career average either. So he definitely has a couple question marks in terms of his you know, production data. But the biggest question mark with Erasmus was his athleticism traits. Um, he had a 93.25 explosive lower body strength score, 59.01 speed score, but his flexibility testing was very, very below average, 37.50 out of 100, which is just not getting it done uh, when it comes to his flexibility testing. And not only that, um, when you look at the three cone, uh, Rasmus James had a 7.56 three cone. The all pro career threshold, meaning that every single multiple all pro edge rusher since 1999 had at least a 7.11 three cone, and every Pro Bowl edge rusher had at least a 7.37 three cone. Um, and we, when you look at James, he's nowhere near the all pro threshold or the Pro Bowl threshold. Um, so again, um, Rasmus James is a player that had good production, but not great production. He had some good athleticism traits, but he had one fatal athleticism trait in terms of flexibility testing. Um, and I think that just kind of sums him up overall as a prospect. You know, he's a guy that had um, a major question mark in terms of his balance uh, testing, you know, his flexibility testing. And um, I think in many ways, that's kind of what held his career back in many ways. So, um, again, a guy that definitely didn't look like a bust 100% on paper. But definitely not a guy that should have been a first round pick and definitely had lots of question marks in terms of his flexibility testing. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on, t on uh, Twitter at Gemmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.